What is up guys, Giants Nami Zero One here with another FIFA 18 tutorial. I got my new best custom tactics video, guys. I already have one, but this one's more for post-patch, and they both still work great, and they both work with all formations. This one's a little bit quicker pace, so if you want to do a quicker attack, and you want to get up the pitch a little bit quicker, this one's great. The players make a lot more runs, and it's extremely, extremely useful for all formations. As always, though, make sure to check out all my previous tutorials. If you have not done so already, make sure to subscribe so you miss any future ones. All right, guys. To start off with speed in the build-up play, you want to move that up to around 75. Why? Because this is how you get those players to move up the pitch really, really quickly. That's why this custom tactic allows you to really go for that quick attack, for that counter attack, because your players are really going to quickly move up the pitch. And then we move over to passing, and passing you want to move up as well, and this one to around 60. You want that to be around 60. I find that to be the best mix just to make sure that the players are making good runs, a good distance from you, and it just allows you for better passing and movement up the pitch. Then we move over to position, guys, and you want to keep that at organized. Then we move over to chance creation. This is where you guys can tailor it to more your style. This one, you can switch it up a little bit. Personally, I like to put passing around 60. I find passing of these ones to be a little bit the more important one. I like to keep it at 60 just to make sure that the players are in good positioning and good for not just short but long passes as well. And then we move over to crossing. Personally, I don't cross as much as most people. But if you do cross a lot, you can move this up. It's just going to make your players look for more crosses. Personally, I don't do that much crosses but of course like I always say make sure to incorporate at least a few crosses into your game to keep those defenses guessing so I put it at 35 but again you guys can switch that to your liking and then shooting I keep at 50 no need to move that anywhere then we move over to position and very important you move this to free form you don't want just your midfield to stay still you want them to be moving a little bit and looking for those runs if you want them to really be making those runs and helping you out when you're in trouble with pressure tell them to be in free form then lastly, we move over to defense, and this changes a little bit from my other custom tactic. I like to put the pressure a little bit higher than the other one, and that is at 40. Before, I used to do it 30. If you feel like you're comfortable with your defense, you can put this pressure a little bit higher. If you feel you're not that comfortable and you feel like you're getting caught in the counterattack, you can put that pressure way down. But be aware, if you put it too down, if you put it like at 20, there's going to be a huge gap in the midfield, and the opponent is going to be able to abuse you in the midfield. You won't be caught for the counterattack, but you will be abused in the midfield, so keep that in mind. Then we move over to aggression. I like to move that way up to 65. I want them to feel like there's a bit of a pressure. There's always someone there manning him and making sure that they don't have all the space in the world. Then we move over to team width. I like to move that up just a little bit to 55 just to make sure that the defensive line is a good width apart. Not too far apart, but not too close together. And of course, defender line, very important. Keep that at cover. There's no reason for you to change that. Lastly, guys, I'm going to show you a couple examples of me using this custom tactic in-game. Like I said before, very, very good for the quick attack, very good for the counterattack. But be aware, a lot of these players are going to be pushing up the pitch, especially the attackers and the midfield. They're going to be pushing up the pitch. But you do not, I repeat, you do not have to force the ball up the pitch and score quickly all the time. Like I always say in attacking, you always want to change it up. You never want to be predictable. So don't just quick attack all game long, even though your players a lot of times, they're going to be looking for that quick attack. Sometimes take it slow. Sometimes cross the ball in. Always switch it up and never be predictable. It's very, very important because a lot of times you're going to force things and you're just going to lose possession and give up an easy counterattack. But that is it, guys. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, share with all your friends. Click on one of these playlists. Check out some of my other videos. I got tutorials basically everything in FIFA 18, including attack and defending, passing, you name it. I got it. Top five videos of my top five skill moves, my formation, guys. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much.